this on.
Can't you just piss off and bother someone else? That'd be great. <laughs> Mind the gap and all. You lost. What are you doing around these parts? Can I help you? Take a look. Farewell. Come see what I've got. Take a look. Until next time. Yeah? Huh? You're buying, I'm selling. Take a look. Bye. What can I help you find? There's a face I don't recognize. Welcome to Eastminster. Can I help you find anything? Toby's sort of our unofficial leader. If you have any problems, he's the one to talk to. It might be worth stopping by Frederick's farm to see if they need any new hands. Head down to Trafalgar Square. You'll find all sorts of shops and stalls. Until next time. down a trade take a look until next time Sorry to bother you, but there's no one left to ask. You wouldn't mind fetching something for me, would you? It's... it's in the sewers. 
And well, basketball, I tried. I, I played the trumpet. Well, I, I did. It's currently floating down the sewer canals. Some hooligans came through town, didn't like my tunes. They chucked me brass down the drain. They told me scared them off before they could cause more grief, but I'm left without my instrument. It's my trumpet, if that's why. A busker's instrument is their closest friend. The sewers are crawling with unsavoury types. Ghouls mainly, feral ones. Need I say any more? Don't even get me started on the smell. Well, I'm not pitching this well, am I? You will? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Please bring it back in one piece. Hey there. Well, I've got parchment in all colours. White, tan, even a few sheets in a cheeky blue. I recommend large parchment for letter writing. For quick notes, small parchment will probably do. I also carry an assortment of pre-war documents. Books, notes, newspapers, magazines, that sort of thing. I recently acquired a particularly lengthy pre-war pharmacy receipt. Bye. Anything you need? You'd have to be insane to take on the dummies. Where do you think you're going? Judging by the look of you, I doubt your mum would even know. But honestly, it don't matter. You don't matter, I don't matter. The only thing that does matter is this list. And your name certainly isn't on it, is it? Now go, I don't have time for the likes of you. Do you need to be carried Where around do you think that you're weapon? Going? Oh, just through there? Yeah. Not a chance. But honestly, it don't matter. You don't matter, I don't matter. The only thing that does matter is this list. And your name certainly isn't on it, is it? Now go, I don't have time for the likes of you. You should consider enlisting. We need people like you. Rule little Britannia, Britannia all the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves.
Got business here. You need anything? Wish I could meet the Queen. Greeting, civilian. God save the Queen. I'm here to serve. We won't go quietly. You can count on that. Got business here? I mean, I suppose I have always thought of myself as a community leader of sorts. I help out where I can. I do my part to spread cheer and goodwill. But I'm a tire salesman. It's a nice thought, but I doubt the people of Eastminster want a tire salesman representing them. Even if my tires are the best you'll find in all of London. Really? That's so... I'm honestly touched. I don't quite know what to say. Listen, I've lived in Eastminster my whole life. I've seen its highest highs and lowest lows. I know what the people here are capable of. And they deserve more than a tire salesman who decides one day that he's in charge. If Eastminster is to have an official leader, that leader should be officially elected by the community. Well, first you'll need to nab some ballots. I'd ask Octavia Holland if she has any. That is, if you still think it's a good idea. Anything catch your eye? Until next time.
Hey there. Ballots? Um, interesting. No, I don't have any ballots. I may, however, know where you can find some. If my memory serves, there should be some old ballot cards at City Hall in Southwark. I've been meaning to go and scavenge the place myself, but it's quite overrun. Welcome, welcome. Take a look. Goodbye.
Sorry to bother you, pal. You're not busy, are you? Promise it'll be worth your time. <laughs> no room for the idol in London, mate. The name's Phil Adams. My money's as good as the next man's. Differences? You're enough to fire a shot. I'll skip right to the chase. You probably noticed my little collection I've got going on here. I guess I retired too soon because I'm bored off my tit. So I'm thinking I'll start myself a museum. Only problem is, None of these are London beer mats. So here's the deal. You go to every pub in London and collect me one from each, and I'll give you a few bob for each one. Tell you what, you do them all, I'll even throw in a little bonus for you. Can't say fairer than that. So, how about it? You in? Comes through with the goods again. Love it. At this rate, you'll be done in no time, pal. Yeah? How the fuck did you cock up an apple tart? It's a tart! If we're here to be treated, wait in the queue. Yes, now nah, shut up or queue up. Yes? I thought I was clear. I don't have time for chit-chat. I have no medical supplies, no doctor, and no time. Which do you think you're qualified to help with? Really? Start with Miss Davison and work your way back. It's me knee. Been acting up so bad I can barely walk. Thank you. I certainly will. And here's a tip for a job well done. Got a bullet in the side. Can you dig it out? Until next time. Need help? I can spare a few supplies, sure. Got a bullet in the side. Can you dig it out? Then don't waste my time. How are you? My 
teddy bear poked his eye out. I knew a doctor could help. This is all the tickets I have in the world. Not too shabby. It's good to have another reliable person in town. Thanks. I won't forget the help you provided. Hi, how are you? Yes? Yeah? Welcome, welcome. Take a look. Until next time. Don't sneak up on a bloke like that. No, uh, that's all right. Name's Frederick. This is my farm. If you've eaten anything in Eastminster, there's a good chance it came from here. Though I seem to be growing less of it than usual. No. Something worse. It looks like there's a thief. These numbers aren't adding up. No, none. I would trust the people on this farm with my life. Has to be. They're the only ones who know where I keep the keys to this room. Don't think so. This room is locked up tight. Yes. Bloody annoying, buggers. They came through a few months ago and never left. Displaced a few settlers, too. It's not them, though. We've got a deal. For an extra crate a week, they leave us alone. I admit it's not ideal, but it's how things are in Eastminster now. 
Don't sound like much, but we ain't exactly gentry. This will hurt. The farm, sure. But it'll be harder for the people of Eastminster. There's already not enough to go around. Well, yes. I work with these people every day. I know them. They know me. They know my family. Hell, some of them are my family. Now we're short and I'm swamped. I don't have time to start a big investigation. I'd really appreciate any help you could give. In the top drawer of the dresser in my bedroom. But don't get any ideas. You could start by asking my oldest boy, Henry, if he's seen anything. Then there's Gloria, my main field hand. Nothing happens here without her knowing. You should talk to everyone, but you could start with those two? Uh, thanks. I really do appreciate it. Morning. And who might you be? Oh, really? Splendid. And how did you meet? Ah, a new friend. Welcome. What can I do for you? Food missing. Oh dear. That's terrible. We were already short, what with the hooligans taking their cut. Oh, but it could only have been someone who works here. The dogs would have gone mad if someone tried to break in. <sighs> Probably because I am. Isn't everyone? I don't know anything about any missing food, though. Listen, I'm not lying about the food. I am lying to Frederick, though. The truth is... Oh, I've been grabbing drinks with Wilma every Friday. Wilma's the wife of the man who killed Frederick's father. I quite like her. We get on well. If I'm honest, oh, it's the highlight of my week. Yes, unfortunately there is. Oh, I can't believe I'm telling you this. Last week, Wilma sent me home with some berry preserves. I used them to bake a pie for Frederick's birthday. I fed him food grown by the man who is responsible for his father's death. He would not forgive me for this. It wouldn't just be a pie to Frederick. I honestly don't. I suppose it could have been one of the farmhands. I hate to make an accusation like that, but I just don't know who else it could be. Both of my boys are angels.
a new face. Can I help you find something? Shit. This is about the missing food, isn't it? Because I'm the one who took him. Right. Does it matter? Before you do anything, you should know that telling Frederick the truth will result in my death. Then again, maybe that's what I deserve. Of course not. He would fire me, though. And this job is the only thing that's keeping me safe from them. The hooligans. The ones outside. I ran with them when I was younger. It was either that or starve. As soon as I heard this farm was looking for help, I left. No one here has any clue what I did before. They all think I was just another vagrant. People in Eastminster don't exactly like the hooligans. And for good reason. The things they do. The things I did. It's not who I am anymore. Because I left. I abandoned them. That's an automatic death sentence. They found out where I was. Saw me. Work in the yard. They said they were gonna burn this place down and kill everyone here for helping me. I tried to explain that no one here even knew my past. The only reason they didn't do it was because I said I'd bring them food. Guess they were hungry enough to agree. No. I know seven crates doesn't sound like a lot. But I don't know if you get how short food is in Eastminster. Frederick already gives him a crate a week. What I gave him on top of that was enough of a bargaining chip to protect the farm in the future. But it wasn't enough to protect me. As soon as I walk out those doors... Oh, Frederick, by the way, I lied about my past to put the farm and your entire family in danger. Cheers. Sorry. Don't mean to be a dick, but no. I don't think you'd appreciate that. You're gonna kill every hooligan in Eastminster. Yeah, good luck with that. The thing about hooligans is that there's always more. I'm not sure I could live with that. Though I'm also not sure what the alternative is. If it's what you decide, just please don't say it's Pat. He's my best mate. I'll gladly die to protect him. I'm not sure if you met Oscar, but I will say that he could use some discipline. He's Frederick's son, so he'd be forgiven. No matter what you decide, I'll understand. Recognize your face. What do you want? Yeah, a face I don't recognize. A crime, eh? Go on, then. Ask your questions. What? That's not possible. We've got a truce with the hooligans outside, and the shed gets locked up every night. We'd have heard someone breaking in. 
Only someone who knows the place would have been able to pull that off. I don't trust the little one, Oscar. He's a wanker. Bad attitude. Not like his brother, Henry. Suppose you should go ask Bill and Pat what they know. Good guys. Hard workers, especially Bill. Bye! You a new farmhand? Nothing out of the ordinary. What are you on about? <laughs> Please don't tell my dad. Please. He can't know. He'll be so upset. <laughs> what? I never stole food from the storage room. Something worse. Something my dad could never forgive. You'll just go and tell him. All right. I broke something that my dad really cared about. The pocket watch his dad gave him before he died. It hasn't worked in ages, and I thought maybe I could fix it. I thought it'd make my dad happy. I wanted to surprise him. He told me never to touch the thing. I should have listened. I should have never taken it out of his dresser. How did you do that? Thank you. I'll put it back later today and he'll never know. I don't, sorry. Honest. You should ask Gloria about that. She knows everything that happens here. Recognize your face. What do you want? Don't recognize your face. What do you want? And I know yours. And I'm Gloria. What do you want? A crime, eh? Absolutely not. Most of the people here are members of Frederick's family. The others were brought on by me. They're hard-working, trustworthy people. They may have had rough pasts, but you can't judge a man for that. Not in Eastminster, you can't. What? I don't like what you're implying. I'd never steal from Frederick. He's a good man. What he does for Eastminster? It's no small thing. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you caught me. I ain't stealing food from Frederick, though. I wouldn't. I'm not stealing anything. Like I said, I wouldn't steal from Frederick. I've been working on this farm since I was 16. It's not jolly fun, but it's better than the alternative. I've got food, security, that's better than most in Eastminster. I've just... I've always dreamed of having a little plot of my own. There's a church nearby with some land. I've been saving up. But the thing is, Frederick depends on me. I don't know how we'd get on if I left. Maybe so. It just breaks my heart to think of telling him. You might be right. As to the thief, I haven't got a clue. But I will say one thing. I don't trust the little one, Oscar. He's a wanker. Bad attitude. Not like his brother, Henry. Suppose you should go ask Bill and Pat what they know. Good guys. Hard workers, especially Bill.
What did you find? sense. I never would have hired him if I had known. Dear Lord, there's more? Well, what did you find? Bill? No, really? What proof do you have? Damn! Well, I'll have to... Strange. Just when you think... Well, I'll have to... Go on. But why? We have an agreement with them. Yes. This makes sense. I never would have hired him if I had known. Personally, I'd rather starve. He can't have changed that much. He's still lying and stealing. Yes, well, that doesn't change anything. He put my entire family in danger. Dear Lord, there's more? Well, what did you find? I'm disappointed, but not altogether surprised. Now hold on. He is my son. But... Yes, I see what you mean. I can't see it being anyone else. I'll have to think about that. He'll be punished, that's for sure. I may have to get creative. He's crossed a line this time. Well, thanks for your help. It wasn't what I was expecting, but I believe you. You've done a good thing. 